When it comes to training your core for cycling, there's a far better way to do it than front planks and side planks, bicycle crunches, and crunches on a stability ball. Today I'm going to show you a spine sparing exercise. When you do it correctly, that's going to help you learn how to tap into power you already have, lock your rib cage and pelvis together to help you get more power down to the pedals that you already have. If you subscribe here to the Human Vortex training channel, which you should do right now after you hit the like button, you're going to know that I'm not the biggest fan of stability ball stuff. I'm not the biggest fan. That's what people say at least. Brody doesn't like or he's not a fan of. Well, it all depends. That's the real answer. And today I'm going to show you an exercise that is one of the best intermediate to advanced exercises for you to be able to have better control and put power down for longer down on the bike and can even help you with your climbing. We're talking about the stir the pot stability ball exercise. Now the thing with this exercise is it is a full body exercise. It is going to call out any weaknesses you have, any muscles that are overly tight and muscles you cannot recruit, such as the glutes. So make sure you're checking that video out up there. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna start off, we're gonna put our hands together for the first time we go through. Elbows should be directly underneath the shoulders, not too narrow, not too wide. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than shoulder, part, uh, shoulder width apart for the first time. Now, I'm using a low ball today. This is gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Uh, I'm not doing that on purpose. It's just what we have here. Now, keeping the elbows underneath the uh, shoulders when we first begin is very important. Now, from here, we're gonna take the feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna squeeze the glutes and we're gonna keep an, a little bit of a, a posterior pelvic tilt. Now, from here, I want to move from the shoulder blades only without moving the hips. And you'll notice that as I come around, my hips are staying rock solid. My eyes are staying cast forward and down and I'm just moving from the shoulder blade. Now, as we come through and finish, we'll hold the position for a count of three and then down. Now, this exercise is much more challenging than it looks. What we're really looking for is to teach you how to move through the shoulder blades as opposed through the core. And you can hear it gets my heart rate up just a little bit, just those three or four reps. This is a very challenging exercise. And again, once you've subscribed down below, you'll be able to see some of the other videos that come out that if this is a little bit too challenging for you, we have quite a few different steps for you to come in and learn how to produce that proximal stiffness and lock that rib cage together, protect that spine to get movement at the hips and at the shoulders. Until next time, remember, train smarter, not harder, because it is all about you.